outside of a few flurries here today. We are not expecting anything besides cloudy skies. There's not going to be one single ray of sunshine out there for our Saturday. That may change a little bit tomorrow morning, but as we head throughout the rest of our Sunday, we are going to reintroduce the chance of a few rain and snow showers. High temperatures today will be in the lower 30s, right around 30 degrees for most of West Michigan. Some upper 20s in our northern communities. Fremont, Big Rapids could come in right around 28, 29 degrees. As we look at Sunday into Monday, that's our next chance of seeing some light accumulating snowfall. Nothing that is going to break your back with any shoveling or anything like that. No need to really get out the snowblower unless you really want to make it a little bit easier on yourself. We'll see a half of an inch a dusting of snowfall right around I-94 with Sunday system. Sunday system is going to be a rain snow mix, so those I-96 and off to the north will have the best chance of seeing snowfall with that system in particular, and then it'll drag in enough colder air to produce some light lake effect snowfall. So from north to south, we're expecting a dusting to as much as an inch of snowfall, maybe as high as two inches of snow far north, uh, far north of I-96 into uh, places like Macosta, Oceana, Nuego counties in particular with Sunday's system. Now that Sunday system out towards Nebraska and also uh, up into North Dakota, South Dakota, stretching into Nebraska and Kansas and then up towards Montana. That is going to slide on through. We have another weak wave that's going to keep the cloudier skies in here and could produce a few snow flurries here today, but we should primarily remain dry for our Saturday. As we move Saturday nights into Sunday, things will start to at least get a little bit clearer out there. So that's when we could see the opportunity at a little bit of sunshine early tomorrow morning before the next system clouds things up once again, and we see the rain and snow developing right around an afternoon. So one, two, three o'clock, we'll start to see that stripe of some light rain and snow developing in the northern communities. That's primarily going to be north of I-96 and then extending down towards the lakeshore. This system is going to be mainly rainfall south of I-96 and then along and north of I-96 is going to be primarily snowfall. So that's where the heaviest snow will be. Grand Rapids off to the north to Big Rapids. And then as we head into Sunday night, Monday, we get enough cold air to produce some lake effect snow showers throughout the day uh, for the first day of next week. Probably the first day that a lot of us are going to be heading back to work after the holidays. And then uh, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, Thursday and Friday, we are going to see a few snow showers then. It's mainly going to be rainfall, however, on Wednesday. Wednesday, and then after that system, we get some cooler air to bring some lake effect snowfall for the first day, maybe of 2021. All right.